We haven't even been to the roof yet. And now we're going to the basement. Although, between the roof and the basement, I would assume that the sarcophagus is more likely to be in the basement. Museum tours, stay on the green line. Red line areas are restricted to museum personnel. Are oh, you joking me? Could have just gotten your drink, okay? Just get your drink and get out of here. I'll let you go, but forget about me, alright? Hey, hold it! <laughs> She's not gonna forget about me! Just leave! Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Is he really gonna forget about me? Camera's one. Pterodactyl. Oh, but he's gonna come in here, right? Wait. Hold on, wait! Wait. Oh no. Ow! Ow. Ow. Okay, this isn't gonna work. Uh, do you mind if I just hack the computer first? Because you guys are kind of... You guys are kind of messing with my vibe here. I'll kill you! Come on! I didn't want to, but you forced my hand. You forced my hand. You too. What are you doing? You trying to run now? That's too late. That's not how this works. That is not how this works. Now forget about me, okay? Forget about me. I'll I'll give you a chance. <laughs> Damn it! We were doing so well, and then suddenly... I'm not done with the computer here yet. Still here. <laughs> Do the cameras even matter? I've already been discovered. Plus. Okay, that's it. You're really asking for it now. I'll give you the honor of a vampiric death. Not a death by blunt weapon. But a death by biting. Oh man, I'm so sad. We did so well up until this point. Damn it. What is this stupid camera anyway? Velociraptor. Well, killing two people, I wouldn't consider that going on a killing spree, especially because their bodies disappear. Okay, maybe the glass is a bit of an issue, but you know, it's not. Two people is not a killing spree, especially if their bodies are gone. Yeah? Okay. It does say kill- do it without killing anyone if possible. I'm pretty sure he used the word killing spree though. That's what I thought, but... Oh, shoot. Oh well, whatever. Whatever, we're a vampire. It's fine, it's fine. But that's it. There's nothing else in here. Oh, I picked up, um... A book? You squint at the wiggly markings on the page, but can't quite make out what they say. Despite this, something in the back of my mind- Your mind is thinking- they say, illiterate dumbass. <laughs> research. Research 6. Now we have two books with Research 6. How many points do I have now? 18! 18. Can I get Research 6? Would that be cool? I have 5 right now. Scholarship or Intelligence. 12 points for Research and Persuasion or... Intelligence for Research and Intimidate. Well, this costs way less, and I'm really just looking for research right now. Would that be cool? I've got so much, though. I should probably do it on... A combat skill? Stealthing? Celerity? Yeah, and then nine points. What else do I usually want? Stuff like hacking? Stuff like lockpicking? Hacking is four. Computer? Six? Wits? Eight? Eight will give me... Combat defense as well as hacking. Well, it does seem like we're gonna be doing some hacking today, so why not, I guess? And then.
Can I read the books now? Oh, you're joking me. I forgot about those additional abilities. I need finance too, for this book. <sighs> I need security too, for this book. So I basically allocated all my points just now for no reason, because I can't do any of that. Security. Oh, security gives me lockpicking. This one's not so bad. Okay. Well, I will... I will save it up then. And... I'm pretty sure we finished looking at this already. Yup. Do they actually do anything though? Because the last time we were at the medical clinic, we had a bunch of cameras too, but they didn't do anything at all. Okay, more importantly, is anybody still around here? If there isn't, I'm just gonna walk around. I'm actually kind of pissed, man. We were ah, we were on such a roll too. Dang it. Whatever. Gold ring. Normal watch. Marshall changed the code again. He is on such a power trip. I think you're right. He managed to send it to everyone but you. Again. Not that you ever check your mail anyway. The code's 2358. You owe me lunch. You have discovered that the key code to the area where the Ankaran sarcophagus is kept at, the museum is 2358. Now get it from there and bring it to the prince. Wait, the note didn't say anything about the sarcophagus. How do we know that? Magically? <laughs> Seems like it. Okay. So we must be in the right place then. The code to the Ankaran sarcophagus, 2358. It doesn't even seem like anyone's around anymore. <laughs> no, I thought I heard footsteps just now. It's gotta be this. Two, three, five, eight. I wish there was some ability that would... Mm, I don't know, man. I kind of want to let them go. I don't want to kill them because they're just a museum guard. I don't need to kill a museum guard to assert how vampiric and dominant as a species I am, you know? Museum workroom key. I feel bad for them. It's like crushing little ants. Why bother? They're not even enough to bother me. Why bother trying to kill them? I hate my job. Probably shouldn't use that as your work password. Email for Pam King regarding Johansson. FYI, I'll be showing Dr. Johansson around personally. I think he'd prefer not to be pestered by the junior staff. Of course, if you have a question, I'll try and ask him it for you. CM. This archaeologist guy sounds like a hotshot. Is he like famous and popular? Maybe. Actually, like, we are really caring about the sarcophagus right now, the vampiric community. Actually, is that even true? I know the prince cares, but do the anarchs care? I feel like they must, if it's so powerful and all. But I'm wondering, do normal humans care? Is this like a really big archaeological discovery? Regarding fetish, from J. Corning, NMH at VTM. Relax, Pam. I had to move the statue into another office, and it told me to say, hi. They moved the statue. Where did you put it then? So we're not even looking for Daryl's workstation anymore. Code change from C. Marshall. In keeping with good security practices, we have changed the code for area B2 to 2358, effective immediately. I encourage all of you to change your email passwords as well, if you haven't done so in the last three months. They put the password for the door? on the computer next to the door. <laughs> That's probably not so good. You know, they say that changing your password frequently is actually not a good security practice overall. Lab results, analysis incomplete, estimated time of completion, five hours. Cause what that encourages is people making predictable passwords that are in patterns. For example, if your initial password is password one, two, three, if you keep having to change it every three months or so, you're going to be encouraged to change it to stuff like password 321 and then password uh, 123 with an exclamation mark, so on and so forth, which just makes everything easier to guess, so that's not a good idea. Well, there's numbers here. So 
There's something in there. Well, there's really nobody around here anymore. Oh my god, we killed everybody. Well... There's a door, but if there's a window right here, can we just break it and get it? Whatever. <laughs> there's not even anybody here anymore. Oh! It's a fetish statue! You have retrieved the fetish from the museum for Pisha. You still need to find the book. Okay, cool, awesome. We found it. What? Whoa! What's that? <gasps> Hold on, though. wait. There's something behind this door, but we can't reach it? Wait, but this room doesn't even have a working door. How the heck are you supposed to come in here, then, besides breaking the window? Maybe we gotta access whatever is behind that from another side. Is there really nobody around here anymore? Yeah. <laughs> Some renovations are needed, but I think I think you'll manage. It's not so bad. Whatever, man. Humans, mortals. Yeah, this is it. Let's go. I'm being really, really uncareful right now. I'm just running all over the place. <laughs> Oh. Hi. If you don't disturb me. Okay. Maybe no luck. Oh, look at that. Look at that! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, there's a- wait, wait, oh wait, that's a different guy! What? Hold on... Stop! 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 Oh! Okay, I was gonna stop, but it didn't stop. Oh f- Come here! I'll let you live. Just let me go. Let me go. Ah, <sighs> you just won't let me go. Just won't. D fine, fine. Fine. This is all what you want anyway. Oh, we really messed up today. <laughs> I think LaCroix is gonna be quite pleased with us, but hey, like I said, there's no bodies. You can't. You can't say it's a massacre if there's no bodies here. Oh, come on, these spawn already. Why wouldn't he despawn? Jeez. Okay. Yeah, wait, what? They suddenly got mad at me earlier. I didn't even get a chance to really look at everything, but... What the hell is going on here? There's like a laser field. Probably this computer here is how we're gonna get past. Beams? Where did that other guy... Where did that guy come from? Oh, now you're gone. Hey, I don't want to kill you, okay? If you just let me look at the computer in peace. Platypus. Beams. Disable. Disable the beams. Alarm. Wombat. Disable the alarms. Alarm siren disabled. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> hmm. This glass seems to be a little bit broken here. Gotta remember to call the maintenance guy tomorrow. Where'd you even come from? I was walking all over the place and you weren't here. If you leave... Okay. Whatever, go. Go. Screw this. It's done anyway. Oh no, this is that same unopenable door. Screw off, screw off! Bye, jeez. Oh god. I think we're here. 
think we're here. Well, that was kind of a shit show, but hey. Uh, behind you. I can't understand why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse. This city's not that dull. Well, when you're a lackey, there's a lot of things that we just gotta do because our master tells us. Beckett? What are you doing here? I'm an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this Ankaran sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. What happened to the Ankaran sarcophagus? What do you mean, what happened? Since it's missing, I'm inclined to believe it was oh. stolen. Or intentionally misplaced, if you like. Clearly, though, it's not here. I thought you were talking about me coming to steal it. But you're saying that it was stolen before I got here. What? I don't think he stole it. <laughs> if he did, he wouldn't have been standing here the whole time waiting for me. Who stole it? Hmm. Interesting choice of words. Weren't you here to take it away? Wouldn't that make you an attempted thief? Yes, I mean who stole it before I got to it. Do you know who stole it or not? Every supernatural creature in Los Angeles is suspect, as are most human thieves. I suppose we may want to question magicians as well. I will take that as a no. Did you get to examine it at all? Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. Interesting. You don't believe in that stuff. Makes sense, I guess, because you're a scholar and all. You would know better. Gehenna? Armageddon, Doomsday, the end of all kindred. It's a common facet of most mythologies. Fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the Antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. Why do people believe that, though? Because why would Cain and the Antediluvians, Antediluvians even want to destroy us? Wouldn't they want more vampires to be around? Antediluvians? No one I know has ever met one. But each of the clans and their bloodlines supposedly trace their origin to an original vampire, an antediluvian. Some swear these grandsires still exist into the present. But then, kindred and kind believe a lot of strange things. And Cain? Cain is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological first city, Enoch, a place where kindred and kind coexisted. I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. Oh, tell me more. You seem to know a lot. Why don't you believe in Gehenna? Or, actually, are there any other signs of Gehenna? What prophecy doesn't have vague apocryphal signs? Let's see. The usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, cane sightings, doom, gloom, that route. Well, we have seen a lot of thin bloods lately at the beach in Santa Monica, and the sarcophagus would basically be a cane sighting, wouldn't it? Hmm. Can you tell me more about thin bloods? Thin bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. Many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? Well, if we're in a position of power as vampires over humans, I think it's pretty natural to be afraid that our... Not biological children and grandchildren, but, you know, our... Our children in the siring sense, that kind of children. If they're weaker, that's not something we would really want, right? Because they're our family. 
and we would love to be stronger than everybody at all times. That's probably a pretty normal thinking. Why don't you believe in Gehenna? As I said, many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. Kindred believed in these stories when they were human, and naturally carried them over into kindred myth. But it doesn't take a supernatural act to cause widespread destruction. Humans and kindred are just as capable of managing their own destruction as a deity. A self-realized Gehenna warrants more vigilance than a god-induced one, don't you agree? Such is my argument, which so frequently falls on deaf ears. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Humans, kindred, vampires, werewolves, whatever, vampire hunters. We all like to believe in superstitious things. Why? Because it makes us feel better. Because it means we can shift responsibility and blame onto some higher order power. And therefore, nothing is our fault. <laughs> we can blame somebody. This is all fascinating stuff. How long have you been studying kindred lore? For 300 years, I've been trying to determine the function of our existence, the kindred's role in the world. I'm not content to attribute it to some act of supernatural biblical vengeance. We exist for a reason. And if it takes another 300, I'll figure it out. Any thoughts? That is a very deep question. The function of our existence. Even mortals don't know that. Vampires' as role? Mortals' as role? Do we exist for a function? Do we exist for a reason? That is a philosophy question that's beyond me. We're the next evolution of human beings. Mmm, I don't think so. It's easy for us to want to think that, but I feel like an evolution means that you're basically better at the previous version at every single aspect of everything. And we are very strong compared to humans, but we have one glaring weakness. We can't be in sunlight. And that's a huge disadvantage for normal human society. So from that perspective, I feel like we're not really like the next step in evolution. But are we aliens? Uh... We're mutations with powers, like in comic books. The extent to which movies have shaped modern belief systems is extraordinary. Still, it's a better explanation than a divine sentence for manslaughter. I really don't know. My sentiments exactly, but there's time to rectify that. Well, my work here is stolen away into the night. Think I'll do the same. <laughs> Not gonna make him call the prince for the sarcophagus. When I saw the purple aura, I thought it was the sarcophagus that was making it. I didn't think it was going to be you here, but it's nice to see you. It is nice. You are a nice guy. You know a lot. I want to learn more from you. Goodbye, Beckett. Okay, this is a bigger problem then. This is a bigger problem than me killing everybody at the museum. We're back here, and we don't have the sarcophagus. You have found where the sarcophagus was being stored, but someone got there first. It has been stolen. You'd best tell the prince of this turn of events. Oh no. And! You have retrieved the fetish from the museum for Pisha. You still need to find the book. Right, right, right. Okay. Um... Good evening to you all. Hi. Good evening. Okay. Ooh, I don't think LaCroix is going to be very happy with me. We'll have to see. Oh, excuse me, uh, starting to doze off there. Oh, I need to get a guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Hmm, maybe one of them chimps like on that show Ape Detective? <laughs> oh, that, that monkey always gets his man. LaCroix's expecting me. What? Oh, yeah, uh, Mr. LaCroix's expecting you. For a young guy, he, he sure likes to work late. Me, I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows. <laughs> we'll talk later, Chunk. Excuse me. <sighs> I'm just <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now, because what are we gonna say to LaCroix? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god, and this guy's right here. <laughs> He's gonna beat me up. 
Oh, hey. The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sounder one, and that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. I don't disagree. The leader is often the person who has to make the choices nobody else wants to make. Just like earlier, we were saying how we want to believe in a higher order because we want someone to blame. Hmm. <laughs> You're respected by everyone in this city for your leadership. I've had my fill of sycophants. <laughs> I need adjutants I can trust. Okay, well, I'll speak frankly then. I haven't met people who speak highly of you. Now what's this all about? The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head they will sharpen the pikes for. At least I can rest easy in knowing that you, my most promising attendant, <laughs> has relieved me of one encumbrance tonight. Do you need assistance bringing the sarcophagus up to my office? Uh-oh. Wait. Wait, wait. You said you weren't gonna call a blood hunt. I come back from the museum, and now you are? I was under the impression that you were saying you weren't gonna call one entirely, not that you were gonna call one later into the night. Either way, though, I don't believe you plan for this. He sounds genuinely not happy about this, having to be the one to call the blood hunt. Okay, well, uh, about the sarcophagus... It appears to have been stolen. Stolen? I... Stolen? How? Who would... Oh, Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. How did you immediately know? Gary? The Nosferatu Primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now, my mistake. That's not true, because we saw Beckett there, and... I'm pretty sure you didn't give any information to Beckett, and the Nosferatu probably wouldn't do that either. The Nos... I want him found. I want him... found. The sarcophagus could be... exploited. Causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands... Yeah, look, he does have some restraint. I'm pretty sure he wanted to say I want him killed the second time, but he was holding back. So, him calling a blood hunt on Nines, I don't believe it's something he wants to do. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, why not, right? I'll find Gary in the sarcophagus. The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood. But not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but... Nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Oh my god. Now... I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort her out. Oh, woe is me. I must bear the consequences. <laughs> so the the top person of the Anarchs is called the Baron? Did we learn that before? I don't think so. Would Nines be a Baron? He would probably be angry if I suggested that, though. He, he seems very intent on being like, I'm not the leader, even though he kind of is. Okay, well, whatever you say. Well, that was enlightening. Hey, but on the bright side, he was so angry about the sarcophagus, he didn't care how many people we killed. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry there, but Mr. LaCroix, he told me not to let anybody up right now. He sounded kind of PO'd. Must be all the late nights he's working. Anyhow, I can't let you go see him right now. Sorry. I don't have anything to bring to him. But hey, sure, why not? Let's see what happens. 
It's of critical importance that I bring this matter to his attention personally. Mr. LaCroix was real specific. And maybe if you come back later, he'll calm down. He seems to be all tore up about that sarcophagus that got stolen from a museum. <laughs> must be a real history lover. Oh, that must be in the news already. All right, see you, Chunk. I'm not supposed to open the doors for anyone. Sorry there, Missy. You are a great security guard, you know that? Truly. You're the only person who's really stopped me from going anywhere so far. Even though at the art gallery, you kind of um, faltered a little bit, but hey, we all make mistakes. I think that is our cue to go to Hollywood. Yeah? But before that, probably checking on people in the last round, checking on my house, checking on Pisha, but just to make sure. Where to? Hollywood. We can still go to the museum, but no thank you. No thank you. Hey Pisha, I got your... The prince wants a sarcophagus now! First step, find Gary. The prince has suggested speaking with Isaac Abrams, the Baron of Hollywood. Isaac can usually be found in his jewelry store. So Hollywood is in LA? But even though the Camarilla are moving in here, the Anarchs control that territory. Well, it'll be a nice change of pace. We will be listening to Isaac as opposed to being barked at by the prince, LaCroix. Different master, same slave. Hey, Pisha. Yes. Here's the item from the museum. Yes, this is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the Odious Chalice. It swells with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> Looks like a wet, rotting pig's face. Uh, thanks. Another question. Yes. About the items you want. Yes. Tell me about the book. It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce del Morte. Should you find yourself within the walls of the Giovanni, seize the opportunity and take it, but they will make sure you never have another. Okay, right. I'll let you get back to skin eating. Does that anger her when I say stuff like that? It's kind of rude. Right, so the Giovanni mansion, I don't... We haven't come across. I'm sure we will eventually. But not right now. Oh. Oh my god. The odious chalice. Number of blood points stored. The perverse creation of a... Uh, flesh crafter. This abomination is forced to live a tortured eternity. In servitude to the damned. As you kill enemies, the chalice will fill with blood. Use a chalice to feed from it and gain its stored vitae. Oh. Oh, okay, you're, you're encouraging me to kill people then. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good. Now I don't have to worry about stuff like blood packs, right? That'd be awesome. Okay. Toreadors are most connected to the mortal world. Well, we are definitely connected. So connected that we killed a bunch of mortals. You guys are still stuck. Do you need help? I don't want to talk to you. Move. I uh, can't help. Oh, we should go to the um, nightclub to collect some money too. Hey, uh, Strauss. Strauss. Any thoughts on the current developments? Nines is missing. The sarcophagus is gone. Hey. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Do you have a few minutes to talk with me? Of course. What is it you would like to know? No, I guess that's it. Surely. What if I'm pretty sure we have already asked all of these. Of course. The Ankaran sarcophagus, what though. What did you say about it again? No more than yourself, but I do know that. I do not know, although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air, something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. 
Hmm. I will say no more. It kind of slipped my radar for a bit. But if it's so powerful, LaCroix can't be the only person who wants it. But it's just that when we talked to people at the last round, nobody... Well, the only person that we really talked about the sarcophagus with is Jack. And he didn't seem that interested in acquiring it. So that's why maybe I didn't think about how... Oh, maybe the Anarchs would want the sarcophagus too. Although, right now, LaCroix is pretty convinced that it's the Nosferatu's, but we don't know. We don't know that. He didn't even let me speak. He was just like, oh, curses, it must be the Nosferatu's. And that was the end of our discussion. Our discussion? More like him barking at me. Hey. What the hell did you want? I have a few questions for you. Yeah? Yeah? Who do you want to know about? Mm, apparently I don't. Yeah? Yeah? Who do you want to Oops. know about? Yeah? I'm out of here. I heard you were down poking around the museum. How'd you find out? Kid, you don't live to be as old as me without cultivating a few connections. The least of which should be able to penetrate the iron veil of the local natural history museum. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose so. Hmm. Damsel told me. Ah. LaCroix wants that coffin bad. Did I tell Damsel? About the sarcophagus? Huh. I'm wondering if we really should be telling him everything. Although, even if I don't tell him, he might know anyway. Gotta respect a man who knows what he wants. Seems like he has a lot riding on that sarcophagus. To get such a fierce bug in that powdered wig of his. Why though? Why does he want it so bad? I got another scenario for you here, kiddo. Gonna bounce it off you, see what you think. You ever hear of, uh, Diablerie? What is that? Well, it's when a vampire drains another more powerful vampire to death. Diablerie is the Sabbat specialty, but it's a big taboo in civilized kindred circles, and damn sure forbidden by the Camarilla. Why is it so taboo? When a younger vampire diablerizes an elder, the younger vampire gains all of their powers. So you think the prince wants to drain whoever's inside the sarcophagus? I see. Wow, you don't think... The prince is willing to tear LA apart to find this thing so he can have it. Why? What would a power-hungry vampire like LaCroix want with a sleeping ancient? Hmm. I wonder... Does his current position as the Prince of the Camarilla depend on his physical power, though? Because I thought it was more of him climbing the corporate ladder. So even though, even if he is super duper strong physically, would that help? I guess it might in enforcing by threat. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Hmm, should I accuse him outright or should I just be more neutral? Let's be more neutral. What should I do? He wants me to bring it to him. You gotta figure a drop of ancient blood would make any kindred just about invulnerable. Anyone who has a sarcophagus is gonna be thinking the same thing. If LaCroix gets a sarcophagus, at least we know where it is. Yeah, I guess. Besides, getting the sarcophagus and getting into it are two different things. It was already open though, wasn't it? We already established this back on the Elizabeth Dane. But then when we got to the museum, I don't know what state it was in. I wanted to ask you some questions. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. That's it. What's on your mind? Hmm. Humans are on my mind actually, because I, I killed a lot of people tonight. A lot of people who were not criminals. They were guards. They didn't need to be killed. Heard anything? 
Hmm. Yeah, I didn't even tell you yet. <laughs> but Jack heard from you already, apparently. The prince is really interested in getting the Ankaran sarcophagus. It's probably just like the rolls of coffins or something. Lousy aristocrat bastard. I'll let you know when I have more news. Okay, in terms of wanting to help the Anarchs or the Camarilla more, I still haven't really made up my mind. I'm just rolling with whatever we get as it comes. But from like a um, power balance perspective, I feel like it might actually be a good idea to continually update the Camarilla and the Anarchs on what the other side is doing. Because if we withhold information from one side, what might happen is that the side that has the information will be more powerful. And then that could be the tipping point that makes it so that the town is controlled by one side over the other. And I feel like we don't really want that. The current status quo, not rocking the boat too much, might be more of what I'm interested in. Yeah. So okay, yeah, telling everyone about everything we know, I feel like it's okay, it's not so bad. It just makes sure that every player on the chessboard is on equal footing. Although, can we really keep the status quo? I kinda wonder too.